Good day everybody. So today we're gonna try to make a vat casting table. Now I only have a vague concept of how this is supposed to work, but that's not gonna stop me. So here's a theory. This pipe is gonna be the chamber for the vacuum. Welded to these two plates, I'm gonna drill a hole in the center here. And then when I put my flasks on top, I'll have a vacuum tube pulling air. Never mind. let's just build it. First thing I need to do, I need to get some holes in this steel. Now if there's one piece of advice I could give, don't buy Chinese crap. I got these hole cutting bits and they were really cheap and they were cheap for a reason. But with the cheap crappy Chinese bits came a variety pack. So I just put on another size and we're done. So this will be the top of the table. Glass will go on top. Air draws through that hole. Now I need to get a hole through the pipe. I don't think it really matters where I put the hole, but I just need to make sure that I don't put it too low in case my flask breaks and cracks. I don't want to fill my vacuum tube full of metal if I put the hole in the bottom. I tried to drill the pilot hole to give my cheap bits a chance, but cheap steel strikes again. Every stinking one of these breaks. I got this one. I couldn't find one made in America, but I found one made in Taiwan. And it cost me more than the other set combined. So we'll see if this works any better. It started off drilling better, but then the threads stripped out. The hole cutting portion slid up and it wouldn't cut anything anymore. Just a bit frustrating. I slid the hole cutting portion back down and had to weld it together so I could finish drilling it. Okay, next I got some piping. And I'm gonna use that for the plumbing for the air to be vacuumed out of it. I have next to zero welding experience. But I figure I'm not holding together a nuclear reactor. I just need to hold a pipe in place and keep a vacuum seal. So I think I'm capable. I believe I can do it. By the way, thanks to my dad for letting me make a mess in his garage and use his welder. So there it is, all welded up. Beautiful. Beautiful, right? But there's a problem. So you can see the welds there, but if I come up, you can see that there's a warping that's occurred. I didn't know that happened when you weld things, but it makes sense because this molten metal here is gonna shrink, and when it shrinks, it's gonna contract, and it's bending down the edge of my surface. Not sure what to do about that keep going with it. The plan I had for the gasket is I got this high temperature silicone rubber. I'm going to put that on there and hopefully that'll have enough cushion to still get a seal even though the surface isn't perfectly level. I got this high temperature gasket sealer. I'm going to glue it on. Tip sealed. Now this gasket's only rated for about 500 degrees and I know when I put the flask on there, it's gonna be quite a bit hotter, but I'm just hoping I can push its limits a bit more. For the outlet, I got a series of pipes that I'm gonna screw on here. I'm going to seal up with some Teflon tape, so the vacuum holes. Should have wound the tape the other way. Now this little piece next this half inch opening down to a quarter inch and that's what's gonna hold my vacuum pressure gauge. So I got my vacuum gauge but 
wrong size. So I got this other part to put in there to make it the right size. I guess it works. It's a little loud. <laughs> so here's why I built this thing to begin with. When I did my copper sanitation bar video, you can see there's still some porosity in there. I cast one on aluminum and it looks like a moon rock. So here's what the vacuum is gonna do. I have my investment and this investment is porous. So when I put it on top and start drawing the vacuum, the air goes through, it's pulling air through the column and hopefully it's gonna suck out all that little porosity and I'll end up with a much higher quality cast. Let's test it. To test it, I'm just gonna make another bar of copper soap and compare it to the first one. I'm also testing my new vacuum chamber to make sure there's no bubbles in the investment, but I didn't count for that. There must have been some bubbles in the wax base that I made because the vacuum sucked the wax up to the surface. I tried pushing it down and mm, I gotta start over. Story of my life. Copper is a difficult metal to cast with, so I figured it would be a good test for this. Some people use pennies as a flux to clean the copper when they melt it. It's my understanding that the zinc inside the pennies will vaporize and pull out the impurities. I'm not sure this is the right way to do it though. Let me know in the comments if you have a better way to do that. I was worried about the temperature, so I added a secondary layer of higher temperature resistance, and it doesn't look like it was too much damage. Let's clean these off quick and see what the results are. This is the first one I cast with no vacuum table, and this is the second one I cast, and you can definitely see there is a difference. The vacuum cast is a higher quality. That's wonderful. Still not perfect, but the vacuum casting definitely improves it. So I'm excited to see what I can do with that. If you have any advice on how I can make that thing better, let me know. I'm new to this, I'm definitely a no expert. Don't follow my lead, I'm just having fun trying to make stuff. So if you want to see how I use that for future projects, join me next time, subscribe, like the video. Thanks for watching, see you next time.